Jamie, welcome to Fleetwood Town. Happy to get the deal all sorted. Uh, yeah, delighted. Yeah, um, I've known about the interest for um, a few weeks now. Um, and as soon as I heard about it, um, I jumped at the chance. Um, it's a club that's on the up. Um, everyone's ambitious, and I think it'll get the best out of me. Um, and, and I like the way that the club's moving forward. Um, and I'm just glad to be a part of it now. It's an opportunity for you to, to move back up north as well from Crawley. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, that's obviously one point that um, I had to factor in. Um, getting back home, uh, moving back home, um, where all my family are based. Um, but it's not always the, the key decision. It, it helps to be settled um, and to be back, obviously, where you're from and where, where your friends and family are. But the main decision for me was come to a club that's on the up, um, a manager that I know will get the best out of me. Um, I, I like the ideas that everyone at the club has. Um, and I think we can definitely build on um, the success from last year. It's a lot of familiar faces for already here, isn't there? And I suppose it feels already like home. It does, yeah. Um, like you said, uh, I, I even know yourself. Um, there's players that I know, the staff that I know, and um, there's people in the backroom staff as well that I know from uh, certain places. So it does. It feels like it's a fresh start, um, one I'm looking forward to. But with a little bit um, of comfort of already knowing some people um, around the place. It's a club that's on the up. Did you, did you watch the, the playoff final at, at Wembley only a month ago? Mm, I did, yeah. Um, I watched it and I was obviously um, rooting for not only the lads that I know, um, but I also love the way that obviously everyone knows the story um, that Fleetwood has sort of come up and, and the way, where they've come from. Um, so I, I watched that and I, I was rooting for obviously the victory and uh, at the final whistle. You could see what it, what it meant to everyone. Um, and like I said, um, th this club doesn't want to stand still and it, it wants to keep moving forward and that's one of the big things where th they're not just happy even though they've had six promotions. Um, I think it is that th they're still not happy with that. So um, if we can get another one uh, next year, then it should be fantastic. The manager is somebody you know very well. You, you played alongside him at mm -hmm. Preston and uh, he was someone you, you watched growing up as well. He was, yeah. Um, first and foremost, I, I know what he's like um, as a player and comes across um, when I had a chat with him now as a manager he's, he wants to win everything, there's no standing still, he'll get the best out of everyone um, and he was like that on the pitch um, in the year that I played with him, um, he's full of encouragement, um, full of praise for everyone but he won't take it easy on you and he won't let you get away with um, silly little things that he'll try and improve everyone um, and in a couple of chats that I've had with him already um, I can see him personally doesn't want to stand still and he wants more and more success. Um, for himself and obviously for the club. You know Connor as well, you played with him in the North End youth team. Did you have, did you have a chat with him before you came up here? I did, yeah. I spoke to Connor um, quite a few times um, to obviously let him know there was interest there and he has nothing but good words to say. Obviously, him signing his new deal um, reflects them comments that he made to me. Um, so he loves his time here and for someone that I spent quite a few years with um, to have them comments from him, it, it just adds to, the, um, adds to the feeling that I had um, personally myself. Still relatively young age, but you've got a lot of experience now, especially in League One. You played the full season at Preston and then a couple of seasons now with Crawley Town. Yeah, I have, yeah, like you said, I'm still only 22, um, but I play quite a few games now. Um, and I think it's time for me now to sort of step up and, and have a season where everybody takes notice and everybody realises what I can do. Um, and I want to start achieving something now. I came through at Preston, had a season there, like you said, and then. Um, I had 18 months at Crawley where I played quite a few games and scored a few goals but I think now I need to um, settle down and, and really kick on and have a, have a season where everyone sort of notices uh, and sort of achieves something. It's a quick turnaround pre seasons only, starts in, in a week or so, mm. looking forward to that and then you know the season only starts in six weeks time, it's quick isn't it? I know it is yeah, well it only feels like yesterday when uh, the season finished and, uh, and I was away on holiday so um, it's always the case, so I'm, I'm used to that now. And I think you, you have a little bit of a break, but then you can't wait to get back because th there's nothing like sort of coming in for pre-season and, and meeting the lads, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, like I said before, a fresh start, uh, meeting the boys, and I just can't wait for the first pre-season fixture now, uh, which I don't think is too far away, um, which will be good to get back kicking the ball and then a big kick off. Uh, I think it's 9th of August. Good luck. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.